Phil Phil. Today I'm here at Creative Concepts Enterprises where my friend and wizard, Rick Pilgner, basically lives and makes his magic. With Kick-Ass 2 coming out, I am pretty stoked and I'm sure you guys are too. <laughs> I figured he could make us something from Kick-Ass 1, so let's see what he's got in store for us. Hey, Rick! Whoa! Where'd you... <laughs> so, what are Ooh. you doing? Oh, uh, just uh, polishing my cannon. <laughs> so, you remember in Kick-Ass, yeah. that scene yeah. where Kick-Ass is like almost dead, oh, yeah. and then he comes out with this crazy jetpack? <laughs> <laughs> Jetpack? Yes! <laughs> so you'll do it? Alright, I'll do it. Yes, Big I'll Daddy! I'll do it! Yes! If you got a lot of crap hanging around your shop or your house, chances are you can probably find most of the stuff that you need to make this. This'll work! Got some steel rings, lots of barrels. Tanks! We need tanks. Tanks that match. Cool stuff. No time to waste! Let's go! Whew! So. These I think will make fine tanks. Kind of interesting shape. We'll modify them. We need some sort of a bell housing. This might work. Use your imagination. It starts to look like a rocket bell. I want to extend this a little bit more. So top of a Bondo lid works real nice. But since it is also a jet pack, you don't want to burn your hands on it. Maybe we can slip that over it like a, like a safety grating. And I don't like these things on the side. I like the sweep that's inside that you get. Thick fiend saw. It's a cast saw. And it should snap right out of there. So, okay. Kind of a cool looking jet pack housing. This is, this is what will hold the weight and then we will have straps crisscross here so that's going to go in that position so there's booster jets here and then the main jets down below i think for the gatling gun what we'll end up doing is keeping it practical but simple so i'd like to give it a little bit more a closer to a mike mike look mike mike has a series of barrels anywhere between six and ten i think those will all be attached and welded together via these rings that I got at IMS. So there's going to be eight barrels on this one. Choppity chop time! So this will be the nose. So what I'm going to do is just kind of tack welded. I'm gonna bend this around a little bit. You can adjust it. about dead on. We're gonna use this nice bearing here. Drop this in, put the housing around it, jack that into it, get the basic movement. So what we're gonna do is I need to break the power line uh, from the switch in here, bypass that, and take it to this switch, which will be on the handle. What I wanna do first is, you wanna find your wires that are running from your switch and uh, and then we'll just solder in new lines, break, you just have to break one line, run it through the switch. Hopefully there's enough amps in this thing. I'm sure there's a lot of electrical experts out there that can probably give you the mathematics for it. So feel free to comment on any of my mathematical uh, flaws. Help yourself if, if it makes you feel better to tear me apart because I'm not a mathematical genius. I just build stuff, right? I like to build stuff. And it works good. So we can have a gear mechanism, a small one, 
that matches the, the teeth. So. so I extended the bar in here and we're gonna drop this in through the gear and through the bearing in the back, which has a set screw in it. The thing is, if your mic mic doesn't spin nice and straight, people ain't gonna believe it. I want it to move a little bit faster than that. The gun has to go over the shoulder. And then behind that is the ammo box for the mic mic feed. And I just taken a piece of uh, sofa foam and it took styrene just to give it like a hard finish so it kind of flexes like a spine. It always looks kind of phony when it's just raw materials, but once it's painted and scenic, you'll be like, whoa, that was just foam and plastic, you know. Okay, we gotta, I gotta think about how to keep it light. Gotta figure out how to attach these. We still have to build a bit of a box here for the Mike Mike ammo box. Oh, I got a piece here. Ta-da! And we can mount our tanks on. So there we go, there's the top. These are a little bit off. This is one of the most important parts. Anybody can learn any agreeable stuff, but to make it look real and accurate, you need to, uh, as far as I'm concerned, really take the time to make sure that things are nice and even. Yeah, I knew I had this hanging around, and this was kind of cool. Uh, it's just a braided, like, stainless sleeve. My pipes for my, my booster, my uh, control rocket arms that go off to the side, and it'll give it a real cool industrial kind of feel. I want to put these two in. Bring in some fire. Just kind of heat them. Gives it a little bit more interest. Sometimes you just gotta go off site to find some really cool stuff. We got seat belts, we got some cool trigger mechanisms for the for the mic mic. We'll put the belts, uh, attach them to the metal frame here in the back with these clips that came with the uh, uh, with the seat belts, and then I zip tied in in through the loops and around the steel brace. Final touches. Woo! Metal gets a little warm. Kind of zap all the hot spots. Don't worry too much if I get a little bit of overspray on certain things it's not supposed to, because it makes it look rough. Now I can't take the whole thing apart. Normally what we would do is be able to break everything down, separate it, paint it separately, but there's no time for that. Death, the destroyer of worlds. Yes, yes, destroy worlds. God forgive me for what I've done. <laughs> Can I look at it? 
There it is. Oh my god! All right, Rick, I need some details. How did you make this thing? Uh, the Mike Mike has a drive system that's uh, it's here. There's an ammo box behind the rockets, the, the jet pack, which feeds uh, uh, 3,000 rounds a minute. <laughs> And the capability to fly just about everywhere that you want to go. I'm. I, You're a responsible adult, and this is uh, why I love you. So I guess the only thing to do is strap you into it. Yay! Fashion show. You okay down there, Buttercup? Yeah, yeah, I'm okay. What do I press though? A uh, green button on the right hand side for thruster control. Very good. Oh, oh, good. This is badass. Oh. oh my god. Hey guys, look, no hands. Oh, oh that's bad. That's a bad idea. I'm terrible. Roll. Okay, Rick, how do I get down? Does this uh, button make me go down or? Oh, you did wonderful, kid. Oh, yes. This is the best gift ever. <laughs> Does this mean we get to get fudge Sundays? Your call, baby doll. Yes! Get your film fix. Subscribe to Cinefix.